Hello YouTube, Hourglass Eyes here. Just doing a little video update on um, some of my valleys. Um, so my rep here, as you see, has some different scales from the usual. Um, the purple select scales have been taken off. And I've gotten a lot of questions about what these scales happen to be. Uh, so I thought I would make a video talking about the scales. Um, in addition to that, I have my monarch here. Um, which is all good. As you can see, the screws are in it. Um, so I wanted to talk about this. Because in my, vi in my video of this, I had said that I couldn't torque the screws down all the way and have free swing. Um, I sent this knife away. Right? I sent it away to get modded, and the modder, when he got it in hand, was like, there's nothing wrong with it. I can torque the screws all the way down. So... He sent it back to me, and sure enough, I've been able to tighten the screws all the way down. And we get nice swing. It's nice and smooth. No play. Sounds good. So I'm not sure what was going on with this, why it uh, was binding up. Um... Revenge of the Blades, ROTB, and I were talking about it, and he seemed to think that the bushings, since the knife was super new, that, that Julian made this for me, just real fresh, um, he seemed to think that the bushings just needed time to break in. The bushings, the washers, the finish of the knife, kind of being on the coarser side, everything just kind of needed to break in and and get used to being flippable, I guess. Um, little tiny mod I did on this. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come off. There's a little bit of it on the side of the blade, but I just took some blue nail polish and put it on the S35VN. And I did the same with the, uh, the JK and Hanson logos. Um, it's pretty faint. I'm thinking I might take some acetone and strip it off and put a lighter color, or like a brighter color in there. Uh, but we'll see. Um, Onyx. Onyx on Instagram did something similar with hers. So that's where I got that idea. Um, so this thing, I guess I'll give it like a little bit of a mini update review. Um, pretty much all the same points in my last video. This thing is amazing. Takes a beating real well. Flips real well. Super good balance. Feels super good in the hands. Um, but now, I don't have to dock at points for having crappy system of pivot. The pivot is perfect. Mine just had a little bit of a rough start. But after said rough start, we're nice and good. Haven't had any problems since. Mm hmm. So that's the that's the monarch. Toss that there because I'm not really worried about it getting hurt. So the replicant. A lot of people have been asking me about these scales. I'm not ready to go into full detail on all of the mods happening to the replicant, but I will talk about these scales. So, um, these are clear scales made by Aesthetic Design on Instagram. Um, they are 100% clear, crystal clear see-through. They don't really look like it because of the liners right now, but the liners are going to be changing. They are very thin. They're very smooth. So they're very smooth on the face here, but on the edge, you can see that it's 
more rough. It's got a texture on the sides, so it gives you a little bit of grip. And they are rounded. As you can see, as you can see, the fitment is not perfect. Um, but they are aftermarket scales, so the fitment won't be exact on every every bally you get. Um, the fitment issues on something like these are very easy to solve. I mean, just like on that edge right there. My camera doesn't want to focus. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. On the edges where it sticks out a little bit, and just literally sand it with just a little bit of sandpaper. I mean, it's so minuscule you can barely see it on camera. But you can see it a little bit. So they ship with a little plastic coating to make sure that they don't get scuffed up on the inside. And they are crystal clear, so if you happen to have anodized or jeweled liners, it will show through that. I've got custom liners coming that'll be really nice looking underneath. They also give the bally. Sorry. A pretty cool sound. Yeah. It sounds pretty good. Excuse my sloppy flipping. Um, but these scales happen to sound very nice. And so, yeah, so for everybody wondering, anybody who wants a set, you got to get on Instagram and look for aesthetic design. They pair very nicely with Foxfire Factory liners, which uh, I have a set of those coming. Almost didn't make that reverse shortstop happen. Let's give that one more try. There we go. Um, important fact that these scales happen to drop the weight a little bit from the stock scales. Even though the stock scales have milling, the stock scales are a little thicker and are a different material. Um, these were also not the easiest thing to install. Even though they seem easy, like they would just go on like normal scales, the, um, the holes were not an exact perfect lineup. As you can see, like this hole here is a little bit wonky. So... There's not much that can be done about that. So that is all. Just a quick video update. There'll be more mods on this in the future. And with all the mods that this thing is getting, there will be pretty much enough rep replicant parts left over for me to make a secondary replicant. And so I'm thinking I'm going to make a secondary replicant to do for a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So if one of you wants to win a custom rep, then be on the lookout for that at 1,000 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing so you can get in on that 1,000 uh, sub subscriber rep giveaway or whatever, you know, bloody, bloody words and stuff. So... If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a dislike, even though YouTube thinks I can't see it. I will know. 
I will know. And as always, peace.